Uh, hi, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about the, the front foot sensor. So a lot of people ask us, uh, why don't you sell a front foot sensor for Model 3? Uh, so this video will talk more about it. So here you can see we have a test setup here. Uh, this is the wire to the uh, signal to the front opening. So the idea is like this. Uh, in last year, uh, if you try to apply uh, power to these two terminal, uh, the front will pop open, no matter what. Uh, some people raise a concern that like uh, uh, the front is not safe. So recently, I don't know when, uh, Tesla made a software update and then uh, changed the behavior. So if the, if the 12 volt battery is not dead, and the car is unlocked if you apply power uh, it can pop open so uh, this is the idea of how the front foot sensor can work so here we can demonstrate it right now so uh, this one the car is unlocked and then if I use the foot sensor it will open the idea is actually very very simple. Um, so we just apply a, a voltage whenever the sensor sends the motion. So this is the idea. Uh, it's very simple. But why we don't do that and we don't feel it is useful, uh, we will try to talk about it. So the first thing is this thing only works when the car is unlocked. So if your car is locked, even if you have your Bluetooth key or your phone with you, you cannot use the foot sensor. So let's try to demonstrate. This is our car key. So if I lock it, you can see I can open it from here. I can just pull the door and it open. Uh, but that is not the case for the foot sensor. So if I lock the car again, right now, uh, let me lock it. Yeah. So now the car is locked. You can see the car is locked and my phone key is it's besides me. So I try the foot sensor again. It doesn't work. What does that mean? That means that in order to use the foot sensor, you need to unlock your car first. So in that case, you will need to use your phone or your key fob to unlock the car first and then do the foot sensor. So, so what's the point? Because when you grab your phone, you can un open the front uh, at, the, at the same page here here so why do I need to unlock first instead of just pressing the open front uh, thing and then do the foot so so it doesn't make any sense to us uh, the only thing is useful is when when you your car is unlocked uh, and you use it to open and close it we don't feel that uh, it is a uh, is valuable here uh, another thing is uh, the danger of it yeah so right now uh, this one the signal it can unlock the front whenever your car is unlocked uh, and your car is not moving. So it actually have a detector inside. If your car is moving at a speed, it won't open. That is the one good thing. But to some of the case, uh, if you have a curb here and you park here, you unload your, custom, uh, your passengers and your car is unlocked, and then you park here, and then the curb here, you hit it, it activate the foot sensor and your car stop at the same time, the front will pop open. That happens to some car owners we talk to, they uh, install the trunk foot sensor without tapping into the CAN bus, they have the same problem. Because when they try to reverse, put the power in first, car in reverse, and then they, the car sends the curb, and then they stop, the trunk open so it's the same case so so that makes it very embarrassing if your car is unlocked and then you park and then you open so this is one case another case if I don't know if it had um, maybe in US like uh, in less crowded city it doesn't happen like this but in here in Hong Kong uh, it, it, it will happen a lot if you are waiting for a red light and then the pedestrian go through here, your car is not moving and then if your car is unlocked, when they go like walk through here, the front will open. 
So I think it will bring more trouble than convenient uh, if you install the foot sensor. That's why we are not selling any of the foot sensor. But if you intended or you insist that I really want that, you can test us, we can make it for you, but we, we are not, I think we are not going to sell it on our site, yeah. So right now we try to test the scenario where I uh, talk about the car is unlocked uh, and then you are parking and then you move and then the foot sensor sends the curb underneath and then it open. So let's try to test this use case. So now the car will start to move. So it it just parked and 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 I like uh, pretend it now it stopped and it hit a curb. Yeah, you see, it will open. So this is some of the use case that makes it not dangerous because you are parking, but you feel embarrassing because the the the, the front just pop open when you stop. So this is one use case. Another use case, as I said, like is like when some pedestrian walk through and then your car is unlocked, um, and you might might open. So so, but the the main reason we are not selling this is because your car need to be unlocked to use the feature, uh, and then it doesn't make any sense because you in order to unlock the car you need to use your key fob to unlock it first or use your car app to unlock this first. Then why don't you just open it using your key fob or your app? So this is basically why we are not selling it and we are probably not, not going to sell it. Yeah, thank you.